dry mouth um, accelerates dental decay. And I know a lot of you will have dry mouth, again, even the ones who haven't got Sjogren's. And your mouth, a dry mouth lacks saliva. Saliva is really important for tooth health because saliva washes your teeth removes any excess gubbins and so forth, but also maybe even more importantly that it neutralizes acids. Most things that we eat, particularly nice things like sweets and fruits and so forth are acidic and saliva neutralizes that and prevents damage to the enamel, the shiny surface of our teeth. If you're not producing good quantities of saliva, you won't get the neutralization and you'll get accelerated dental decay. So it's really important. You're really proactive with dental care. You clean your teeth very carefully. You avoid sugary sweet foods. You see your dentist regularly. You use these little interdental brushes to get all the gubbins out from between your teeth um, and you use a high fluoride toothpaste, a good quality toothpaste. A couple of other little things you can do. You can use xylemelts are really useful. They're little slow release xylitol pastels. You can buy them over the counter uh, and xylitol is good for your teeth because it does two things. First of all, it encourages moisture. That's lovely. But secondly, the xylitol itself inhibits um, a bug called Streptococcus mutans, which um, can accelerate dental decay. So using xylitol regularly slows down dental decay. Um, and uh, that you can, some, in fact, as a patient pointed this out to me, Peppersmiths do a xylitol mint, which is a sugar-free xylitol mint, and they're really good as well.